Amen. Now, the other reason that I love uh, Brother Mark is because, you know, I'm not one of these preachers that lost, forgot how to dance once I got saved. And, and I still love good music, like some of y'all listen to, you just don't want nobody to know it. Well, and so, 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 Doc and I, we are good friends of George Clinton in Parliament. See, see, y'all got to understand, don't trust no preacher that doesn't like Parliament. Just, just, just really, if, if they can't get down with flashlight, don't trust them. No, don't, don't, don't stop. If, I'm telling you, if the preacher can't get down with flashlight, something wrong with it. Because that whole song is a metaphor about justice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It ain't about the beat. It's about turning the light on the man. Y'all hear what I'm trying to say? So if you can't get down with flashlights, huh? <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. Flashlight. Oh. I told y'all we knew church. We, we, we want everybody that nobody else wants. Because it's time for the church to loosen up so we can win everybody. The brothers in the street, the brothers in the hood, the young folk, the old folk. We want everybody. Amen. All right. Just like now. when Dr. King was alive, everybody didn't choose to do what he did. Some folk hid in the background and didn't move. But not Reverend Bob. He is embodying those principles and spirit. And I want to talk a little bit about that, but I should probably try to explain something first. Um, he somewhat undermined the accolades I had for him in comparison to Dr. King I wanted to talk about this morning when in his wisdom he chose to announce to all of you and to everybody watching online uh, that he liked George Clinton in Parliament and Drake Man of Shepherds. <laughs> Let me try to work with that just a little bit. <laughs> the truth of the story is, and, and where that comes from, we were involved in a march a few years ago at the Lincoln Memorial that the NAACP had called the One Nation March. Some of you probably came. And as one of the organizers, it was my idea. The name of the march was One Nation. So I so said, why don't we have George Clinton in Parliament come and perform One Nation under a groove, y'all? See, he, he's carrying on again now. I, I didn't say that to get him back going, but this. <laughs> and it was also my idea, my plan, my organizing, and my intention. Because a lot of that music is from our former life, before some of us got saved, amen? So I had a plan. I said, well, when I bring up George Clinton in Parliament, I was going to excuse the preachers on the platform. And so right before I brought him on, I went down to where the preachers were. And I said, now, about to bring George Clinton and Parliament up. So we're going to escort you all off the stage and off the area. And the two loudest preachers who protested against me and had a sit-in against what I said were Rem Willie Wilson at Union Temple in D.C. and your pastor, <laughs> Rem Bart. He said, uh-uh, we ain't going nowhere. <laughs> that's a true story. And so that's really where some of that comes from. But he's, he's absolutely right because when you transition from the former life to one who is saved and living in the spirit, the words 
means something different. Everybody's got a little light under the sun. Maybe y'all, I don't think y'all got that. Maybe y'all get that a little bit later on. Everybody's got a little light under the sun. Now, maybe you spell sun, S-U-N. Or maybe you spell it S-O-N. But everybody's got a little light under the sun. 